All right, the Binding Blaze is the Iron Banner sidearm this time around. A lot of you want to know what the best rolls are on it. Before we get into that, I need to kind of show you some other sidearms that are just straight up better. Namely, the Wormwood. The Wormwood is the Vendor Future War Cult one, and the actual Vendor roll is Hidden Hand, Hand Loaded, and Quick Draw. So Hidden Hand here, Hand Loaded here, and Quick Draw here. That's a really good roll for PvP. So... If you're ever looking for a PvP sidearm, you don't know what to do, just pick that up. And already the stats are really good. Like, the old Iron Wreath is maybe a little bit better in some areas, but yeah, the Wormwood is still a very solid weapon. Now, going over to weapons that are actually in the same archetype as Binding Blaze, the only one that you can easily get would probably be Zeal Vector. There's uh, one or two more vendor ones, but it's easiest to compare Zeal Vector and Binding Blaze since their stats are so incredibly close. Their stability is only one off, uh, same fire rate impact range, uh, reloads a little bit slower on the raid one, which doesn't make sense because it has reactive reload. Weird. Um, aim assist is like one off, equip speed, a little bit, whatever. You get the idea. But the Zeal Vector just isn't that good of a hand or <laughs> sidearm because it's the, it's the rate of fire. Let's get this out of the way. Sidearms really should only be used in PvP. You can use them in PvE. No one's going to stop you, but with a, with a secondary weapon, you want to chunk away at health. You want to be dealing large amounts of damage. You have very limited time to use a secondary. Generally, you want to make the most of it. A sidearm pecks away at health. If you want to peck away at health, that's why you have a primary weapon. Uh, so... I don't understand the application of using a sidearm in PvE in their current state. So you have this higher rate of fire, does less damage, takes longer to do damage, and you don't really get much benefit. You don't have a much larger magazine size. These both have a base magazine size of 15, and the recoil direction is actually kind of less. The stability doesn't help. Sidearms, even though it looks like it has high stability, they have a healthy kick to them. I know I'm kind of talking down on sidearms right now, and particularly these higher rate of fire ones. And we'll get the raid one out of here and actually get to the uh, review now. So Binding Blaze, the things that you want to focus on for this particular one are either stability and range, and that's not much else you can really do. The rolls are kind of weak on this one. So you have hand loaded, and that's good. You know, it'll increase the range, and fitted stock will increase stability. I wouldn't really recommend going for speed reload, because that's something that, you know, gauntlets can give if you really want to get that. Plus, speed reload just doesn't really affect the reload enough to warrant taking one of the stat mod slots. Oiled frame, injection mold, reinforced barrel, I wouldn't suggest any of these. Reinforced barrel reduces the range. Sidearms already have a huge fall-off damage. Injection mold, again, reduces the range for faster handling and stability, but... You know, again, you're reducing the range, wouldn't recommend it. Oiled frame reduces range. So none of these perks in this one really work too well. These here increase range or increase stability. Both of those are fine from hand loaded or fitted stock. Either or pick whichever one that you like. There's they're both on the same tier. For this column of perks, again, quick draw is the only thing here that I feel that you should actively be going for. Uh, unless you are, unless you have a Fidian Aspects and or a Blade Dancer with Quick Draw perk, then in that case, please take Snapshot. But Quick Draw is the best all-around perk because Snapshot got nerfed a while back. Lightweight just doesn't really do anything. It do, it doesn't warrant a perk slot. It's bad. Like sidearms as a whole should just have lightweight on them already as a you know just normal perk. It should be like right here for where the where the damage type is. It just 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 give you lightweight. Bungie, please. Uh, so for the second column perk here, you also have like high caliber rounds, feather mag, and a pendant magazine. A pendant magazine does give you a slower reload and more magazine size. Since this does, this is, this is a higher rate of fire hand cannon, or sidearm, I'm going to keep doing that. Um, you can, you know, buff your magazine size a little bit for a slower reload. And if you happen to have, if you end up going that speed reload route, it might be worth it to do that. But still overall in this uh in this column, I don't suggest any of these perks. I haven't tested high caliber rounds. Some people speak to it, some people don't. From my initial testing of high caliber rounds way back, semi-auto weapons do not benefit from high caliber rounds in PvP. So I wouldn't really go for it. I haven't tested high I haven't tested it on sidearms though, so I can't really 100 percent say that. I'm just gonna say don't go for it because you should much rather just get quick draw. It's easier to use this weapon for its intended purpose, swap over it to real quick 
and then shoot it and then you know stow it away that's the purpose of quick draw and that's the purpose of a sidearm now for these last column perks we have a couple of different options here i do like that you can kind of swap in between these uh, depending on you know what you're doing hot swap is good uh, because, you know, bonus accuracy, you want to be jumping around a lot when using sidearms anyway, and Hot Swap does help you do that. Battle Runner is okay, not the best perks. Reactive Reload, this does have an okay base reload stat, so I could probably recommend getting Reactive Reload without any other reload uh, benefits, and then Rangefinder is also always good. Hidden Hand is probably going to be the best one that you want to go for, um, because increased aim assist. Sidearms already have a very high aim assist. I know it only says 54 on the side there, but they seem to benefit a lot more from aim assist than other weapons. Like they're going to be sticky, and then they don't they don't lose target like a hand cannon does. Uh, you, if you're over a target, it's going to land. That's simple as that. I wish hand cannons could take that from sidearms now. Crowd control is my personal other favorite. That's more of a per that's a personal thing though. Um, I recognize it's, uh, that uh, reactive reload is probably going to be a little bit better, but crowd control just seems to work more for my general play style. I'm not having to plan my reloads, get my reloads, you know, in between combats to get the damage benefits. Like, I get it right after I kill something. Cool. If I need to use it, it'll get used. If not, oh well. I, I just I just prefer crowd, crowd control because it, it's less investment on my end. So for this tier of perks, like Rangefinder and Hidden Hand are going to be the top tier ones. If you're looking for damage increasing ones, uh, Reactive Reload or Crowd Control here are going to be your best bets. So overall, the roles that you want to look for, Hidden Hand Fitted Stock in this one, that would be best. Quick Draw here, and then Rangefinder here, or Reactive Reload if you're looking for damage, and then for Consistency, Hidden Hand, or Crowd Control if you're looking for damage. And that's unfortunately all you can really do on this sidearm. It's it's not going to be that much different from some of the other sidearms out there. And in all honesty, the vendor Wormwood is going to outperform this one just straight up. It's going to kill in less shots. It's going to do everything a lot easier because you're not going to have to pull the trigger as many times. I haven't mentioned this one part here. I wanted to wait to the end to mention this. But the rate of fire being 98, it's very very difficult to actually reach that maximum rate of fire with pulling the trigger naturally. It's it's very difficult. I don't know if I just have, I'm 28 years old, I think, and maybe my hands are just getting old and I don't have the dexterity to rapidly pull that trigger, but I, I can't reach that maximum rate of fire and still maintain accuracy on, on this type of uh, sidearm. So yeah, that's another reason why I don't particularly like this. And yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Later.